as a conscious community can manifest whatever we agree on. I agree on your blessing. We agree on our blessing. Please say that if you can, wherever you are. We agree on our blessing. And so it is. Spirit, I call forth the divine emissaries, the friends in spirit, the ancestors, the spirit animals, all of the gorgeous, supportive, beautiful energy attached to each and every one of us. And we all have a host of angels, for God gave his angels charge over us. I ask that you step forward and in a way known to the person perceiving, let them feel your presence now, that you're here. Maybe this shows up as a tingle in your forehead, maybe just a quiet, soft warmth in your heart. Spirit, show us that you are here with us and that God is here in this circle of spiritual community. All that is being asked in alignment with our soul's purpose, all that's being called forth through manifestation, our divine birthright, we ask of you, Spirit, Bring these things into our experience in 2020, the year of clear vision, allowing all of these new experiences and new energies to more closely align us with your love and our purpose here in this life. And Spirit offers an activation because Spirit is showing me that for some of you to receive what you are asking for, other adjustments need to be made. And we just did the burning bowl ceremony. And this is beautiful because some of you already offered up on the altar what was needed in order to bring in this new thing. Beautiful. However, Spirit is showing me that there are some of you who are calling these beautiful things into the experience. And it is on its way. Amen. And it is on its way. However, there may be things that need to be moved around, puzzle pieces on the board, if you will, in order for you to fully experience it. And over the next weeks, these things are going to start to shift because they have to in order for you to occupy the energy that's coming in, whether this is a belief system, whether this is an actual relationship, whether this is an actual place where you are, this has to shift in order for this new energy, this new creation to come through. But we are willing to shift in whatever way we need to in order to more closely align with you, spirit. Please be mindful in the coming days and weeks of any discomfort that you feel as things shift around you. And when you feel this discomfort and see things changing, do not fear, for they must change in order for this new energy to come in and occupy. When you see the change and feel the discomfort instead, say, thank you. Thank you. I know this is happening because we have called in this new creation because I am this new creation. I pray a blessing over each and every one of you for optimal health and clarity, high energy, a peaceful heart good health in the body and in the mind. I also pray for each and every one of you watching and connecting right now for financial abundance and prosperity and the removal of any obstacles to that, whether in you or around you, in your circumstance or scenario. May it be removed right now, and so it is, that you may be given all that you are entitled to as a divine being here in this life. So many resources, everything that you need to thrive, it is yours. And for those of you who seek a deeper connection with spirit, more evidential, meaning, more intuitive, more psychic, the dreams, the visions, the channeling, the spirits, the light beings, the angels, making this connection, I speak an activation into your life as well. And a release of fear around this because we cannot have fear and also the same curiosity because one undoes the other. So we release the fear knowing there is nothing to fear. And we ask for the phenomena and the validating or the affirming miracles and evidences that let us know that we are magical beings filled with power, the designers of our lives. And we all agree 
for the individual and the community blessing in God's name. And if I may pray based on my personal preference in Jesus' name, I ask, Amen and Amen. I do have to say that I have a really good feeling about the future. Now, a lot of people who do predictions and things of that nature, they tend to be a bit doomy and gloomy and talking about all the things that could be wrong. David Icke, I'm looking at you. <laughs> We're all going to be plugged into Google and have the AI in our brain and all that jazz. And, and I do think that's happening as well. But um, I think that there's something else simultaneously taking place with those of us on the planet that are awakening. And there are a lot of us. This community alone, we've got almost 10,000 members from all over the world. And if we can share a vision of peace and joy and compassion and goodness for this planet, if we can share it and live it, we can change it. We can change it. And I think that there are enough of us, not just in this group, but on this planet who have that heart and desire to do the right thing. That's why I think we're seeing so many shifts and changes within um, the society and norms and, and um, how to treat people and different classes and groups of people. And although right now it's pretty acute because we have a lot of infighting and pointing of fingers and blaming and taking sides. I really feel this is just a pendulum swing. This is the pendulum swinging far away from the way that we used to be in the olden days when we were judgmental and discriminating and bigoted and all those things that my parents were. The pendulum is swinging so far away that we're in this other space that feels almost equally as contentious. But trust me, this starts to swing back toward the middle and we come back into balance and we create and we walk this middle path. And it feels really good to me. But I do think it's a tricky time, meaning I think it's contingent upon you and I being very present and intentional about how we live our lives and how we love and how we shine our light. Like we've got to be doing that in a proactive way to really give this planet a chance to go down the right path. And I think we can do it. I'm very hopeful and I'm grateful. And if the members of this community are any indication about what is possible in terms of accepting one another and loving one another and seeing beyond our differences to the things that unite us, then there is hope for us all can I get it amen into 2020 and beyond let's shift this thing let's shift it